Hey guys, you ever wanted to play your old Game Boy Advance SP again just for the old retro gaming that it offered? It only had the EU charger and never had uh, one of the EU adapters that are lying around spare so you could just uh, plug it on in and get going. Well, I'll be showing you what I found out. How to charge it up again, only using a 12 volt DC adapter with a variable end and an old car charger that I had lying around that I didn't use like ever. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is find an end for your DC adapter which you can get at easily with a set of crocodile clip wires. Now I chose the 3.5mm jack as I can easily clip one of them onto the ends and one of them onto the side of the shaft. <laughs> when I say easily, I mean easily, like that. And just in case you're wondering, yes, it will need to go up to 12 volts. So what I'm going to do now is go and plug that in. Now what you're going to want to do as well is check that you've got the polarity the right way around. As for these little ends, there are only two pins and it's easy to get them mixed the wrong way around. So what you're going to need to do using a multimeter set to voltage for DC current is measure each part of the jack and you can see here I've got it set to 12 volts but it's actually giving about 17.4 volts and we can see with the red end on the tip the very tip is positive but the other way around and with the red end the red it would give a negative reading, meaning the polarity has been reversed. So what I'm going to do is get it the right way around. So now we should have the tip as being positive and the colour being negative. Now in terms of the car charger, what you're going to do, need to do is disassemble it. Now on mine, because uh, it's pretty cheap and tacky, did have a, a small, very small screw that I could get out there with a hobby screwdriver. And unfortunately, it got a bit stuck, so uh, some buttery was needed to get out. Now the end should just twist off, as it has got a moulded screw on it. And then out comes the end and the fuse. We won't be needing this as uh, the uh, the DC adapter has already got a fuse built into it. And what you want to do? I find a pair of pliers helps with this. Using my Leatherman skeletal, get off the metal collar on the end. That should come off fairly easily. And be careful, so pings, things don't ping all over the place. You want to get it at the guts. Now, what you notice is there is a spring here and then two side springs. These are for current collection when it's plugged into the car, but we'll be using them today for current collection off the DC adapter. Now you can scrap this bit as we won't need it again. Now as far as logic goes, these two outer prongs are negative and the inner spring is positive. So what you want to do is take a, any, a wire and clip it onto the spring. And take your other crocodile wire and clip it onto one of the outer springs, like so. Making sure you know which one's which. Bringing back our DC adapter, connect the positive to the end, making sure it's a good fit, and connect the negative to the collar. And what you can see now is the circuit board is actually lighting up and saying there is power. Make sure that these crocodile clips don't slip onto each other as to cause a short. Otherwise God knows what will happen. And as I show you just to see it works, we shall plug in the Game Boy. And there we go. It charges. Now you could be clever with this end of it and totally take off these the, the two sets of springs and uh, without muddling it up, connect them up to a DC plug and mounting the whole thing inside a small hobby box. So it's easier to, for connecting it up in future reference. 
but like me, the other day I found my charger, so I don't need this anymore, but I decided to make a video about it anyway. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this helped, and as usual, happy gaming.